Super Wendy wanted to know, what did you want to be as a kid? Race car driver. I actually wanted to be a photographer. That's so funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it would have really I worked did. out if I wanted to be a hairstylist. I know. My grandfather <laughs> owned a photography studio. And then in high school, I took photography. I was actually in high school, I was Miss Photographer. I was probably mm. more involved in photography than you were. I wasn't at all yeah. in high school. So. Yeah. In high school, I was like yearbook photographer, journalism, historian. <laughs> I'm sounding like a total nerd. And I kind of was. <laughs> no, I actually, no, I was actually, I don't know. I was, I thought I was like hip to the trends. How about you? Race car driver. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh. Seemed like a cool job. Race cars. Really? Was it, didn't Tom Cruise have a movie with race cars? Did you watch that movie? Mm, I didn't want to be that? a NASCAR driver. Oh. Uh, that was like, personally. You like, just wanted to drive like fancy. Like uh, I, I would, I would want to be like a Formula One or a, uh, yeah, a Formula One driver. Mm -hmm. there you go. Annalie, what's the thing you like the most about each other? Um. He's very sweet and patient and loving. Aw, thank you. You are. Uh, yeah, thing... I put him a lot. I, yeah, I put. He's 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 a good man. Aww. He does a lot for me. <laughs> uh, I think the thing I like most about Anna is that she's very passionate and she's very driven. So, mm -hmm. She's a fox. <laughs> oh, here's a good question. Here's a question because there's been I've seen this comment kind of come up a few times on our videos. Yes. Okay. So Sinella Isabella, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> wants to know, how do you and Jesse manage your finances? You always eat good food and are able to buy designer goods. We work. We work, yeah. Yeah. Um, we eat good food. We love to, I'm... I oh wait, I know the answer to this. What? We don't have kids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's I think, true. You know? yeah. we, have, we have Mookie. Yeah. And he doesn't, well, he does get really expensive food. He does, actually. But He's not as expensive baby. as a kid, so. Oh, okay, here's one. Saturday Night All Right <laughs> wants to know, spaceship or pirate ship? <laughs> spaceship. I'd say spaceship, too. I Why? Um, That'd be cool to float. Yeah. You I know, think a spaceship would be more interesting than a pirate ship. And then you so. get to wear that awesome suit. Because if you're on a pirate ship and you're not the pirate, you're probably not in good shape. No. So, but then probably the same thing on a But then spaceship. if you're in a spaceship, how are you going to go duders or pee pee in that spaceship? Do you go pee pee and poo poo inside the thing? In the, is this in the really suit? a concern for you? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. I'm going to be in a spaceship. Like, um, how do you use the bathroom? They have a vacuum. And he just goes inside the thing? Yeah. No. That's how they do it in NASA. Shut up. For real? Wait, so the vacuum goes up that wheel? That oh, <laughs> It's just like a big the hose and you just put it over top of it. No, you're lying right now. I'm gonna Google, up, kids. Google this. Alright, I got one. NB1124 says, Annalie, you have the most beautiful hair I've ever seen. What's the secret? I do it myself. I am a professional hairstylist. What's the secret? I take really good care of it. There you I go. don't over process my hair. What else? I I try to keep it as healthy as possible. I use the right products for my hair and mm -hmm. That's pretty much it, yeah. you know? And since I'm a hairstylist, I would hope I do have good hair. Yeah. Christiana Coco says, Annalie, who's your favorite designer and or what is your favorite trend at the moment? Questions for both of you, love you guys. I think my favorite designer right now is Alexander Wang. Yep. And Balenciaga, but Alexander Wang is Balenciaga, so. I like, um, for me, I would say, um, I like black denim. And oh, it's awesome. I like uh, Saint Laurent. Oh right. yeah, Saint Laurent. All right. Uh, What's the question? biggest trend, though? What's the trend that you like? You didn't answer that. It says and or. So we answered okay, the first so we, part. Okay, sorry. Annalie and Jesse, what is your favorite thing to do on the weekends? Hang out in the loft. Yeah, <laughs> chill out. Cause, yeah, uh, but you guys don't really see us. We don't really shoot our vlogs when we're just hanging out. You only yeah. see like a portion of our lives, like when we go out and do things, mm -hmm. um, where we think would be what you guys. Find, would find interesting, interesting. Yeah. Um, so which is like shopping, eating, because that's what I think is interesting too. Yeah. We do things that we do not film mm -hmm. and... We just hang out and watch movies. Yeah. yeah. But also too, we don't really have a weekend because um, where most people work Monday to Friday, I have a very different kind of schedule yeah. and especially Anna, her she works Thursday, Friday, Saturday at the Consistent, salon. Consistent, yeah. Uh, always. And then she freelances other days. So she could be working Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. 
so there goes our weekend. Yeah. Our weekend. So sometimes our weekend is Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. So, um, and we usually just chill out, you know, mm -hmm. hang out at the loft, watch yeah. movies. Um, I think a fun thing Jesse to do. Jesse cooks, you know. You, try. Yeah, you cook really good, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I guess I kind of a, a standard weekend kind of thing to do would be just to get uh, fish tacos and go to a flea market. Yeah. But that's fun. You know, just being outside in California on the weekend is nice. Yeah. So. Uh, next question. Do you want to do an Instagram question? Yeah, let's do an Instagram. All right. Bethany underscore M in, on Instagram asked, where do you see your YouTube channel going in the future? Nowhere. It's going to stay exactly <laughs> where it is. www.youtube.com slash Annalise. <laughs> I don't know. We, we kind of are just doing this for fun. And yeah. we've gotten a few amazing opportunities. But honestly, like all of this is just kind of happening for us organically. I know that word. But yeah. it honestly is like we just kind of let it we kind of just go with the flow and let it be. Yep. Yeah. I think so that's a good answer. We don't really have a plan. We'll see. This is from Simply Joyce. If you guys had a chance to do something crazy together, what would you do? Crazy. Yeah. I would That's crazy. I'm kind of afraid of heights, so I'm not I wouldn't do anything like jump out of a plane. That would be scary. Um that would be something that Anna would like to do. I don't know, probably like just go on a crazy trip, you know? I think that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Would you jump out of a plane? No. Okay. Would you, um, that's, to me that's like crazy. I don't really think of many other things as being crazy. I don't even know. Be new me. P-H-O-E-B-E-N-I blah 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 blah. I can't even read it. What do you guys think is the best brunch and coffee bar in LA? There was a place in Silver Lake, but it, we just found out it closed, mm -hmm. which kind of sucked. But it was Dusty's in Silver Lake. That, that was, was good brunch. Awesome. We yeah. used to live right around the corner from that. And I can say that we used to live right around the corner from there because we no longer live there. Yeah. But that place was awesome. The bread in their jam mm. was the jam. It was the jam, yeah. Um, <laughs> best brunch and coffee bar. Um, coffee bar? Brunch and coffee. Coffee tro Cafe Tropical in Silver Lake. I yeah, think. I'd it's say pretty that too. awesome. But it's kind of like... It's really strong. <laughs> that too. Yeah, uh, it's but not it's like really a, yummy. What's the word? It's more of like an everyday kind of place. You wouldn't like go, oh, I'm going to take you somewhere special. No, it's like a, it's a cool like little dive like... Divey like, yeah, coffee shop. Like Cuban um, coffee shop. Um, I also would like... Or pastry shop, would yeah. you say, right? Pastry, pastry and coffee. Yeah. They have juice too. Yeah, and they have... Stuff. Alcoholics Anonymous next door, so you know, you can hang out with the people from AA. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, but it's delicious. It's so delicious. Yeah, they make awesome little Who's sandwiches. Who's the other one, too? I'd say LA Mill. Oh, yeah. LA Mill is awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, that's I'm really cool. But don't get their desserts. Their desserts come like... Remember when we got it? The bowl came... The bowl was so big. And the dessert was like the It was like big. this small. Yeah. But the um, coffee's really good. And yeah. I'm sure the food is good, too. Another but the desserts was... Yeah. Um, anything else? Earth Cafe. Really? I'm not a fan of Earth Cafe. Me either. Um, um, Intelligentsia is good. They don't really have brunch though. No, but coffee? Coffee, yeah. Yeah. Brunch, um, Fred 62 in Los Feliz is really delicious. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the first place you went to, didn't first you? First place I ever ate yeah, in Los Angeles. In LA. Yeah. yeah, that place is yummy. Um, yeah. Breakfast all day, every day. <laughs> mm. I do that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. From Moody Judy, uh, Moody Judes, how often do you go to spin in Pilates? Which do you like better? Um, we try to go one or the other three times a week. We started yep. up again a few months ago. So it all depends on what we feel like at that time, but for sure we try to work out at least three times a week. Yeah, about three one times a week. One or the other, week. yeah. I think that's the safest way to say it. Yeah. Um. And which one do I like better? I honestly can't choose. I like both because with Pilates, I don't do traditional Pilates. I do circuit training Pilates. So what you guys don't, if you guys don't know what circuit training Pilates is, it's basically a fast paced Pilates where you're actually burning calor, like burning a lot of calories because it's fast paced, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. It's really cool. There you go. Uh, from Hall underscore Karen. Hi, Annalie. How did you and Claire become BFFs? From Jesse. Can I answer this? Oh, yeah. I hired Claire as a makeup artist. And when I met her, I was like, oh, you and my wife are going to be best friends. And then... Um, I hired her again to be on a shoot so she could meet Anna, and they became friends. <laughs> Very simple. And that's that. Yep. Yeah, it was kind of crazy because I was like, oh my god, she's like my twin. Yep. <laughs> okay, Caribou wants to know, how do you take care of your hair? Yep. 
I take good care of it. One, I don't use shampoo. I use Wen. Mm -hmm. You guys know that I love that stuff. I don't use excessive heat on my hair, and when I do do it, I use a heat protectant. Mm -hmm. um, I take really good care of it because a hair is an extension of your of yourself. You know, so gotta. You just have to. Mm -hmm. um, my hair color. Um, I don't go excessive on it. I. Well, from going dark to light, I don't over process it in one sitting. I let the hair, I process it, let it breathe, wait a couple of months, and then I lighten it again. That's the trick I, I feel like when I do color, because you never want to over process someone's hair, especially Asian hair, that quickly. And my hair girl secrets genetics. Genetics, to be honest with Look you. Look how um, long her hair has gotten. Yeah, but it really is genetics. and. Get good trims. I know it's, it certainly isn't because she eats good. <laughs> no, but no health. That, what you eat does make a difference. Like no, there's some people. No. She does eat pretty I good. I do have. I eat pretty good. I do eat bad things, but I do. I sneak a lot of kale in her juice. I know he does. Okay, hi. My name is Fitch. Hi, Fitch. <laughs> hi, Fitch. Was there a conversation you had about YouTube before you started, and how did you start? Yeah. We we've never had a conversation about this before because we never really do any kind of sit down stuff. We, we do vlogs or we do hair tutorials or like Jesse's camera Well, I think stuff. like the question is like, was there a, like a specific plan? Like, did we plan all this out? And no. I don't think so. I think the original intention was that Anna used YouTube to show her clients how to do a blow dry on herself. Yes. So they could use it as reference when they're at home. They could copy and replicate exactly the same movements yep. since I was doing it on myself. So they yep. could play rewind because I'd always hear, you know, being behind the chair, I'd always say, I can never replicate what you do, you yes. know? So, so I figured, okay, well, I'll do a video for you so you could use it as a, as a reference for yourself. And from what I hear from my clients, it works. So, yeah. so I just continued on and then once in a while here and there, did a couple of tutorials, mm -hmm. different ways of blow drying, yeah, the way I, I would do it. You did like three or four. Yeah. And then... One of them ended up getting licensed. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't do anything. With for a it. while, yeah. Yeah. Until we met last year. Uh, yeah. Until we met Claire, who was like, "Oh, I do videos. Blah blah. You guys mm -hmm. should do them too. Blah blah blah." Yeah, because we were going to Fashion Week, so we're like, "Oh, let's go shoot it." Mm. You know, that'd be a good time. No, no, that's not how it started. We did, we did the, a, the, a, a New, New Year's, Year's video. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that was the whole. Like, we tried out on New Year's, and then yeah, I we think, tried on New Year's, and we we're like, oh, "Okay, cool." Mm -hmm. And then we figured we had a cool trip coming up, New York Fashion Week. And that's we just vlogged every day. So yeah. and they were just showed behind the scenes there. of like runway shows. Because yeah. I do hair and he was also shooting backstage as well. So yeah. Yeah. O O T I A K O D A M says if you can live anywhere, where would it be? Here. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. I love LA. Yeah. I would like also a house in an apartment in Japan. Oh yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I, li I live here in, in LA and I live in Tokyo. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. Hello, Monica says, when will you visit Southeast Asia, especially the Philippines? Soon. Everything, been... all, the, all these travel places are going to mm -hmm. be soon because yeah. we, are, we are planning on traveling a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, we enjoy traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we just don't know when. where. We're probably no, just... where. Oh, where. Yeah. Or when. I think we're very spur of the moment when it comes to our travel plans. Yeah, like so. our Japan was like spur of the moment. It was like, oh, fashion week's coming. Uh, let's go to Japan. Let's instead. just go to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, definitely the Philippines. I definitely want to see the Philippines. And I know Anna has, wants to go back as well. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something that, that's a definite yes yeah. in the Philippines. Um, uh, other Southeast Asia, for sure. Um, we, we like the cuisine. We like the culture. So. Mm -hmm. Um, those, those are things we're definitely going to do. 